Okay. Hi, Carolina. Hi, Ali. <laughs> Hi, Mahmoud. Sorry. <laughs> So, first of all, how are you? Directly from Madrid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I slept uh, um, like two hours. That's but, why you wear sunglasses? Uh, you know, this energy here is um, making me like awake. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So, let's start with the question. We have so many questions for you from our virtual press. Narek from Ogai, Armenia. Greetings from our members. They really love you much. My question, you are back to Eurovision. How was your experience in uh, 2019? What did the contest give you? But for sure, I think that the, 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 the experience in 2019 uh, gave me the possibility to uh, make my music, you know, uh, uh, be, be known in uh, all Europe now. After the, the, the Eurovision, I started uh, doing uh, an European tour. For, so for me, for w w was um, amazing. No, and uh, and I remember also now that that uh, thanks to that Eurovision, I visited for my first time Tel Aviv, uh, and uh, w w was uh, an unforgettable experience. I think. Okay, from Italy, how was your rehearsal today? Are you satisfied? Mm, 60%, yeah, because I think that could be better. Okay. Um, Europhile Australia, Alessandro, what was your message as part of the Connected Hearts initiative on Safer Internet Day? Internet Day? Yeah, it's talking about an initiative called Connected Hearts. Do you know something about that? Uh, we can move to the nec next question. What do you think? Maybe these two hours of sleeping uh, <laughs> are not working in a okay, good okay. way. Okay, okay, it doesn't Sorry. matter. Let's <laughs> go on. Uh, GJ from the Dutch Eurovision podcast, Dinga Dong. You are coming directly from European tour. What has it been like to be in front of live audiences again around Europe? Uh, is Incredible! I'm super happy about that because I think that is always a great possibility to bring you know, uh, uh, my story in a big stage like this one. So uh, for me, it is the, the most important thing now is not so much to thinking about the, the competition, but is just to put all the energy, all the passion in in the in the, in the performance. You know, so I hope with Blanco to 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 stay you know to not overthinking no, on stage but to stay like more uh, free and to enjoy and to I enjoy mean, obviously yeah okay please first question from Hi. our journalists here uh, ciao Mahmoud Emilia Giacometti from Eurasian Croatia ciao uh, ho tanti ho tante domande <laughs> um, uh, allora, um, you are one of the songwriters, uh, you are also a songwriter, you wrote for Francesca Michelin, for Fedez and so. Uh, how uh, do you, uh, uh, which one of the songs you wrote for other, other singers you would like to also sing or? Uh, allora, basically, no one just for a simple reason no? that uh, uh, in my lyrics i put so much uh, personal details you know that can, because uh, uh, when i perform on stage i need no and i sing my song my own song so i need to to feel the moment to remember the moment why i wrote this song no you know and so um it's super funny for me to 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 write for other artists because I start imagining you know, uh, other lives. So, if, for example, if someone asks me a song for, I don't know, uh, another, uh, another singer, I, I start uh, thinking about that singer, you know, the, the personality, what that singer uh, gave to me, you know. So, for, for the reason, uh, I, when I just write my own song, are just for me. Okay, grazie. Prego. Yes. Ciao, Mahmoud. Ciao. I'm Simon from Poland, Radio Newsletter. First of all, I expect you very soon in Warsaw for the concert. I bought a ticket two years ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
uh, first of all, you improved your English so much uh, since Tarif, really, it's a great job. Would you explain us what happened to Blanco? Because I know that some Italian press told, tell the story, but we don't follow Italian I language. I have answer to this question yes, if please. you want. Blanco yes. tonight uh, plays a gig in Florence. That's why he's not here, so he'll had, be... All right, had you time for rehearsal together? Yeah, for sure we will have uh, other, other time to, you know, adjust some details, retouch. But yeah, uh, tonight he, he have a concert. He has a concert, so okay. yeah, for the reason. Thank you. Um, we have Andrei from Buonasera Eurovision, an Italian podcast on, uh, of Eurovision. Can you explain to us how can we'll see on the stage uh, next Saturday in the grand final? I don't know if you can reveal something. And uh, no, no and spoiler, no. guys. And no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, luckily, no. Uh, today, no. One uh, woman before no asked me if I um, got the, the 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 performance outfit, no, to put in this rehearsal, no. And I said no because he, he has to come, no. So I, I go like this on stage to do my first rehearsal, no. And Eurovision Instagram page post the photo now, you know. And so you can imagine if I would wear no, the, <laughs> the original performance dress yeah. would be spoiled, like, now. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. Okay. For me, spoiler. Um, we have Definitely. Emma from Broadway World. A lot of performers are superstitious. Do you have any pre-performance rituals or anything else you do to bring you good luck on stage? I just like just to shut up before the, um, the performance because uh, <laughs> I need to... It's unusual to for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really unusual. <laughs> no, just, uh, you know, uh, 30 minutes before, just to relax my muscle. Okay. There. <laughs> it's not a choice, but it was first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, hello, uh, um, Mahmoud, it's JP from Radio International. Hi. Nice to see you again. In 2019, you left a lasting impression with Soldi, became the, the biggest streamed Eurovision song for quite some time. Now, this time, you're coming back with Blanco, uh, singing a duo uh, together. How do you feel more comfortable to sing together with somebody or sing alone? And can you also explain to us uh, how the idea came up to sing with Blanco in this project? Mm. So, um, I think that... I, I, um it just can be compared, no? Because wh when, I, when I perform alone is uh, one thing. Uh, I remember that in 2019, I was just uh, telling about my story, no? In Soldi, no? My, when I was a kid. But now with, with Blanco, no? Uh, with Brevity is another story, you know? It's, it's super funny music because every time you can just uh, um, say different things in a different way, no? And this time for me is um, compl is completely a, a new experience now just singing with him here because um, I learn everything every time. No, sorry. I learn every time something different. And uh, the, the, the song is born like in the studio with Michelangelo, that is the, pro the Blanco pro producer. And we start uh, writing the, the chorus at first. And uh, then uh, it passed like three months now, uh, and I uh, wrote my, my first verse in Sardinia, in my mom's house, and Blanco uh, did the same in his mom's house. And uh, after four months, we go back to the studio to finish the song, you know? And it was super cool because, you know, um, the, the, the songs is uh, about two different generation, no? But uh, with, the, with the same feeling, in the chorus, because there is the sentence, no? Ti vorrei amare, ma sbaglio sempre. And, and this sentence for me is like the key of the song, because uh, it's like, no, two different generations can have the same fear to expose, no, feelings to someone uh, uh, you love. And, uh, and that's it, yeah. 